Today, we have the great pleasure of speaking with Sam Ciccolini, founder and principal of Masters Insurance and uh, very highly regarded members of our Italian Canadian community. Hi, Sam. Buongiorno, good morning. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Sam, uh, the many, many rewards, the many, many uh, activities in, uh, in, in, in sports and in philanthropism, uh, uh, social activities speak volume about who you are and your role in our community. We're really looking forward to some words of advice on how to change this difficult time uh, in our lives in, in, into something positive, in a, into a positive attitude. Can you tell us something about your personal experience? Well, first of all, uh, at the beginning when uh, this all came about in March, I thought it was uh, innovative, I thought it was good. I thought most people wanted to uh, start working from home. I thought that uh, everything was going uh, smooth, but you know, uh, this also takes a, a toll into everybody's life. Um, the, the fact that uh, you don't have a, a regular routine, this breaks the routine of everyone's life and uh, it has taken a toll. However, um, from a positive standpoint, I think you have to be passionate about what you do. I think you have to be positive on anything that you do in your life and then make the best of it. At the end of the day, uh, we need to follow the rules and regulation of our, obviously of our uh, medical uh, uh, gurus and, uh, and our government. I think that they are probably the best people to uh, guide in this very difficult time in our lives. However, if everyone uh, takes it from a positive standpoint, I think that we will all get through it in uh, grand time. And once everything comes back, and I hope that they find a, va a vaccine uh, that will give us the aptitude of going back to doing what we were doing before, I think we're all going to be better than ever because uh, it has taken, I, I think it has let everyone relax their time and starting to rethink the way, think, uh, at the way people actually live. Sam, um, how are you and your family living this new kind of life lived at the social distance? Well, first of all, it's uh, for a grandfather, and I don't mind telling you, from a grandfather's perspective, uh, and when you're so attached to your family, uh, uh, my immediate family, my enlarged family, I mean, I have three grandchildren. Uh, the fact that I can't stay with them, the fact that I don't see them as often, although they come around our uh, driveway. Uh, we keep our distance. Uh, I see my two grandchildren, my two granddaughters, my grandson, and this is for us, it's a joy. For grandparents, uh, it is a tough time. It's a tough time not to go into their house and uh, share the moments that we've always shared with them. It's a grand time that uh, it's too bad that we can't do what we were doing before and go out to see an event, go out to see something that we did together. However, um, nevertheless, we're still Skyping. We're still Zooming. Uh, we joke about what we do now. All of a sudden, we, we're rediscovering the way we're, we're eating now. We're rediscovering the kitchen. We're re rediscovering everything. And from my perspective, if you do it uh, in a very passionate and a very positive way, I think we're actually reconnecting with our families. Uh, so, for example, things that uh, I never thought of doing, uh, things with my wife in the kitchen, etc. Now, all of a sudden, these things are realities. And uh, it's uh, certainly brought us uh, closer together. I don't mind telling you. Um, Sam, when it comes to helping the people in need, uh, um, you lead by example. Uh, in this particular moment, we're thinking about uh, our elderly. How can we help them? So first of all, in order for a person to help others, you also need people around you. And I'm very uh, blessed to have uh, tremendous family, tremendous friends, um, friends like uh, people at TLN, friends uh, in other media that uh, uh, do a lot for the community. But from our, our elderly, as you know, they are the, probably the most vulnerable. Um, I'm involved heavily with Villa Colombo, I'm involved heavily with uh, Richview Manor. And in both of these locations, what we try and do is, first of all, we have to make sure that they are safe. 
when I say safe, I know that there are families out there that want to go and see their mom, their dad, their brother, their sister, their loved one. Il comare, la comare. But you know what? At this time of the, the of of with this pandemic, we need to make sure that they don't get infected. We make we need to make sure that they are safe. And in order for them to be to to be safe, and I know there's a lot of uh, chatter going on with. Uh, how they're being treated, etc. First of all, you have to have a little bit of passion of what you do. And I believe most of the, and I say most, of the long-term care facilities, not only do they care for the seniors, but they also do their, the best that they can under the circumstances. I know that at Villa Colombo, for example, uh, every two or three days, Father Vito Martigliano goes there to say the rosary outside but he says the rosary to all the, the the people that are in in the home i know that they have to stay within their own confinement so that they don't uh, infect someone else just in case they have the virus i know that the the personnel that are in these homes and you got to remember most of these people that care for the long-term care facility uh, uh people that are in uh, in these homes um they're also afraid there are frontline workers. They're the nurses. They're the doctors. They are too are afraid. And here we are. We actually ask them to go into these homes to look after our seniors. I think that they're doing the best they can. And for the seniors, they have to be kept abreast of everything, keep them occupied, keep them doing things, and make sure that they are well fed and give them something to, to shoot for. Sam, um, other activities you are a, a, a leader of, a, a, a protagonist, I will say, uh, include, uh, uh, of course, your passion for sports. As you may know, TLN is, uh, is bringing back uh, Serie A games, um, uh, soccer on other, other sports. Uh, what kind of role they ca can they have in this moment? Uh, this, uh, what, how important is for us to um, reactivate that particular passion? Antonio, look at my face. <laughs> bravi, bravi. Thank you, thank wow. you. Wow. As soon as I saw that the other day, I said to everyone, oh, I never thought I would see a round ball again, a <laughs> soccer ball. <laughs> I think we're going to see it again, and I'm so glad. I think uh, uh, sports, uh, soccer, and, and you guys that, uh, well, with Aldo, yourself, and, and others, you guys are protagonists in, in bringing this back. I think what it'll do is it'll give everyone at home a, a different perspective every single Saturday and Sunday or Tuesday, Wednesday, when they play, to sit in front of their television, to watch Milan against Inter, Juventus, che vengono sempre. Okay, so, <laughs> but you know what? What's your team, uh, Sam? Uh, Sam, what's your team? What's your well, team? Well, fortunato, io sono milanista. Okay, Milan, AC Milan. Uh, my, imagine, do you remember the, the times of uh, Rivera? Rivera was uh, my idol. I mean, can you imagine? Gullet, Rivera, you know, all these people, they, they were just uh, unbelievable. I am so glad that soccer is coming back. I'm so glad that TLN is showing the soccer teams again so that we can shoot for A, to be better for it. And, you know, sports brings people together. Sports brings the activities of the passion, and it gives people a little bit uh, of something to shoot for every Saturday and Sunday. Of course. Sam, I have a personal question, a personal curiosity of mine. Um, we're uh, always uh, talking about uh, Italian Canadians, the community here. Uh, is there uh, an Italian Canadian way to success? Is there uh, an Italian Canadian mentality that can lead us to success in our lives? For me, um, I've always lived by uh, uh, three models honesty, integrity, and hard work. If you're honest, people will uh, gravitate around you. If you're honest, people will look at you and you'll say, they'll say, I want to deal with that guy because I know. I'm not going to be taken by you know where. Uh, integrity, 
say what you say and do what you do. Uh, if you're going to say something today, it'll be something today, tomorrow, and what you said a month ago. And then hard work. Nothing replaces life more than hard work. If you work hard in life, it may not come today, it may not come tomorrow, but hard work in the, in the end, and it, it'll be there all the time. It'll come to a successful amount that in my opinion, and I've lived by those three models, it has certainly worked for me, it has certainly worked for our family, and it's certainly worked for most people of Italian Canadian or people that have come here con la cavetta and made themselves a real destiny of, of what they've done, but they've done it through all hard work. Of course. Sam, thank you so much for, for being with us today.